Good morning, people. A new day in the new year. And we are ready and we are fun. Especially because today we have... What do we have? Not moon. Is it Venus we have in Aquarius? Let me just check. Yes, Venus is in Aquarius, which is very exciting because we are more optimistic when Venus is in Aquarius, which fits well with this new year. We are more optimistic about the way ahead, more than we have been the past years. There's something new over this year. And I believe that... Is it this year? I believe it is this year. This year that Pluto moves into Aquarius, which is also very, very badass. It's magical because it does bring in a more optimistic energy. That is what today is about as well. It also brings in fun. It brings in a new spark when it comes to relationships, when it comes to friendships. So maybe you do connect with someone special in love or in friendship someone from the past, because we work retrograde, or someone new. But there is this like boost of the new, of the optimistic. And with Aquarius and Venus, there is also this energy of actually wanting to be more connected with people who think the same as us. We want to be stimulated, we want to have fun, we want to play. So, that is a little bit of what's happening today. Let's see, I am using the... Oh, damn it. What is it called? Dark Astrology? No, something with Astrology. I love this deck. I don't know where the box is, actually. What can we get? What else? Ah! Gemini, I think. How? fun is that to get? Well, first of all, Gemini, the lovers. But there is like a playful energy here. I also feel strongly with Venus and Aquarius that someone is paying attention to you. We have two people here. Maybe both of you are starting to pay attention to each other. Or one of you are starting to pay more attention to the other. <laughs> No matter if you know who this is or not, but I do feel there's something about this, like, paying attention, being mindful, being mindful in general, thinking. So maybe you, you want to do something with writing. Maybe you're just cracking a lot of jokes, you know? Maybe you are jumping into a new character of yourself today. Maybe there's something happening around the 15th of January. Um... I was so confused because I heard the 15th of Venus. Huh? The 15th of Venus. Maybe there is something about what zodiac sign. Let us actually... Ch let's chat. Okay, maybe someone wants to chat with you. So, on the 15th... What is Venus in on the 15th? Well, Venus is still in... Oh, this is so funny. Oh, I know why. You cannot make this up, people. So... Venus, I believe, is in Aquarius right now, 15 degrees. What I meant to say is that Venus is zero degrees in Aquarius at the moment and will be 15 degrees in Aquarius on the 15th. But on the 15th, it is 15 degrees. 15. Something will happen from today and until the 15th of December. We have Moon and Libra, so wow, yeah, because Venus and the Moon, again, it's our loving, flirtatious, magical energy. It's a Sunday, okay. Um, Yeah, we want to have fun, we want to flirt, we want to, you know, we want to do all that. Mm. Talking, writing. There might also be something, because that's also something when it comes to Venus and Aquarius, there is a thin line between friendships and lovers. So, and also, again, with um, the Gemini card, there might be a friendship that turns into love or flirt. 
uh, if obviously that can be dangerous it can also be good depending on <laughs> um, let's just ask the tarot because I feel tarot knows so what is energy of today besides Venus and Aquarius and Gemini there's a lot of air yesterday we had Libra and Aquarius so yeah okay what is the energy of today that is a lot of cards <laughs> But we do have the king of wands. <laughs> that is what I want to take. Yeah, that is what I want to take. Hmm. Masculine or feminine energy. That could be a fire sign. Or someone with Scorpio. Libra, Aquarius, Leo. Aquarius. Well, okay, there you go. Aquarius, Libra, Aquarius. That's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> God, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> two four uh, seven four two. I saw so that might be an ancient number. Um, <laughs> let's try that again. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and apparently Scorpio, Libra, Gemini. Uh, Gemini. <laughs> well, Gemini and Aquarius. I don't think I want to do this anymore. <laughs> but there might be someone who is like very optimistic and just being fun being yeah i feel <laughs> i really feel someone is uh so there's an opportunity showing up also because i pay attention to the four of cups at the bottom but i feel like you might still need to to realize and recognize what this opportunity is that venus in aquarius brings you what else letting go of <laughs> addictions the devil is reversed. Obviously, there could be someone who has been letting go of him in Gemini. Oh. Well, take it away. <laughs> Why won't you? Gemini, <laughs> Capricorn. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's happening. But I will say that it could also be that something happens when uh, Pluto moves out of Capricorn and into Aquarius. Now I want to research because I want to know when is that because right now I do believe that we have Pluto in Capricorn. Yes, so let's Google when does Pluto move into Aquarius. It's going to be very very uplifting this this, this year, people. It's prepare yourself because it is magical. June 11. Okay, so by June 11. Um, no, wait. Pluto will briefly spend some time in Aquarius from March 23rd to June 11th. Mm. And then it will retrograde back into Capricorn. So from March and until June, something is happening in your love life or something around a friendship, I believe. 1010 with that. Wow. Okay, the last time Pluto passed through Aquarius was in 1778 and 1789. Wow. It's a very transformative period of time that changes the way the world viewed power, money, technology, and society as a whole. I was knocked with that. Something major is happening, and for some reason we, be, we, we are being prepared for it now. So on the worldwide scale, something major is happening, but also individually. Maybe something is happening in your person's life or in your life that actually is a big key when it comes to this. Anything else when it comes to this? But yeah, like I said, there could also be something with letting go of addictions or letting go of a connection that's toxic, whatever it is. Four of swords reversed. The universe means business today. Something is being healed here. Like you're ready to join the world. You're ready to step out of toxicities or whatever is holding you back when it comes to being optimistic or when it comes to a person. <laughs> Someone is going to reach out, I'm telling you. If not today, um, you are being prepared today. Something is happening today that's preparing you for this. And like we just found out, it might happen in March um, and onto June. Or around that time, but it might also happen now. There might be a first hint to what this is today. But there will be a message. 
I feel for a lot of you guys, if it's just me delivering this message for you today, or if it's you getting a sneak peek of something through a dream uh, or a physical message that's being delivered or a like. Anything else that we need to know? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yes, summertime. Wow. There's so much joy and energy today. I don't know why the universe wants us to know this today because I feel for some of us, if not for a lot of us, this won't happen today. But for some reason, spirit wants you to know today. And it could be because that you are just jumping into this energy of like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to find new friends. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to do and dig into a writing project or something with how you talk or who you talk with. Maybe there's something about social media. Maybe there's something about a person who is preparing to reach out to you. Maybe you're preparing to reach out to this person. Who knows? <sighs> Leo energy. Um, <laughs> why did I want to say that? Well, the sun, Leo energy, there's a lot of fire. I think that's, that's what I'm supposed to say, people. Wow, badass. Let me know in a comment how you feel about this and how you feel this energy that we are in right now because something is happening that's it people i will talk to you guys tomorrow <laughs> bye <laughs>